Hello YouTube and welcome back to another campaign video. We are continuing the Ismail campaign and we are on chapter 3 Alexander Safavi. Without further ado, let's go ahead and jump straight in. When I finished my meal, I noticed a scrap of parchment which the Shah had dropped on the floor. One of his old poems. I am the Alexander of my contemporaries. The words of the younger Ismail declared. <sighs> However much I have tried to suppress the words inked on this greasy note, they remain etched into my heart. Perhaps it was just the Greek blood from his mother's side of the family. But from the very beginning, the self-proclaimed Alexander of the Safavids coveted all of Persia, and he was determined to conquer it at the point of a sword. Having secured his new capital, this ambition now seemed within reach. Crippled though they were by their defeat, the Ak Koyunlu were still not content to surrender peacefully. Indeed, after the loss of Tabriz, they were now fighting for their very survival. Ismail, naturally, was thrilled to put his abilities to the ultimate test. Twenty steadfast Safavids, he declared, would overcome two hundred Ok Koyunlu. That's a very big claim there. Twenty Safavids will overcome two hundred. All right, let's see. Capture Ak Koyunlu cities by destroying their town centers and castles. Defeat Baghdad. Now that he is the Shah of an imperial Persian state. Ismail may finally advance to the Imperial Age and support a population of 150. Take full advantage of your diverse technology tree. He means elephants. Uh, what works against one faction may not be prudent against another. Persian town centers are not only tougher than usual, but also more efficient. Construct additional town centers to quickly grow your economy while also protecting your citizens from early raids. The Persians have some of the strongest Imperial Age cavalry in the game. Make good use of them. Uh, they mean elephants. The newly crowned Shah Ismail has arrived in the northeast, ready to campaign against his enemies. The Ak Koyunlu rule the highlands of Inner Persia. They will deploy cavalry archers, step lancers, pikemen, and siege engines in battles. All of those units are killed by elephants. The city of Baghdad serves the Ak Koyunlu with skirmishers, mamelukes, camel riders, and rams. Oof, we might have a problem here. The Ottomans have an outpost to the north. Leveling it could be could benefit Ismail's army, but beware its garrison. The Portuguese Admiral Afonso de Albuquerque Alburk prowls the Persian Gulf. His caravels sail the seas, but he will also deploy organ guns, hand cannons, and bombard cannons. All right. The hills of Persia beckon to us. Let us waste no time in fulfilling. Our grand Sounds good. Alright, what are we working with here? Uh, oh, he has gotten a boost. He's now way stronger than he was before. So you want to defeat the two Akkoyunlu uh, cities. That makes sense. I want to not take gold for now because you don't need it. We are focusing on setting up our economy. It doesn't say that Shah Ismail has to survive, so that's obviously a great thing to know. We want to take those two cities. Tribute to Quizilbash. So player 6, 300 gold. And then he will become a friend, it seems. Dialogue voice quite low, I know. Uh, the issue is if I turn that up, everything else gets turned up. We got a dock here, so we'll add a little bit of fish. Uh, I could already kind of send him 300 gold. I'm not sure if he receives 300 gold. Let's try. Yeah, that didn't count. Because we have the. We don't have the. Oh, uh, still not enough? Wait. Oh, shit. Player 6 is Quizzlebush. I was slinging the enemy. 
They said player six. I defaulted to purple, okay? It happens. Oh, God. It is what it is. We start. Why? I just sent them 300 gold to build more army. That's great. Hope they will enjoy. Wait, am I blocking here maybe a potential reinforcement thing? I don't know. We're going for it. Okay, so there's a little bit of a Turkish army here. Guard towers. Not that scary. We have 150 population cap now. Uh, the scout can go and look around more. Yeah, it's a domination. It's just asserting my dominance. Slinging my enemy before I destroy them. That's how we do it around here. Slow start, slow start. We have peaceful situation. We can build up our economy. That's kind of what they want anyway, so... We already have a cast as well to start making elephants. My only concern is still gonna be... Mamluks. I think they're just scouting. Doesn't look like they're after any... Trouble. Yeah, we can also go to the Imperial Age now, so... That's definitely something we want to do. Not really finding much of a threat with my scout. Yeah, let's send Quizzelbash now. 300. Thank you. Now they're on our side. Use chat commands to tell Quizzelbash which enemy to fight. 62 to fight Baghdad, 63 to fight Akkoyunlu. I would send them on Akkoyunlu first. I could waste extra time, annoying you, but my true sights are set on India. If you would agree to finance my voyage east, then my sailors will leave you in peace. I mean, I don't really see them fighting me anywhere at the moment, so am I concerned? They're like all the way on the bottom of the map. Unless they're gonna come up to the north and be annoying. Then maybe. Uh, so let's use 63. Attack player three. As you wish. So I need to. I have 24 minutes to pay Al Afonso. He wants a thousand gold. You can shove that up your butt. I ain't paying you nothing. I welcome his threat. I might sling him just for fun. One, uh, 999 nine gold. Just again to assert dominance. Okay, that's fine. Oh, this enemy is actually really close. Alright. Kinda don't want to lose my fish. It's a nice boost of food income, but. It's not a big deal. Maybe they're attacking too early? This unit looks orange to me, rather than red. Okay, and... Red surely will help us as well. From where? Ismail is such a wise man. Yeah, we're getting ready to go to Imperial Age. I think I have enough economy soon to support my 150 population. I guess this is the attack we're experiencing. It is just regular Mamluks though, not elite. 
So I wouldn't be concerned for the time being. This is not a massive attack either. I wanted to build the castle, but maybe this is not the right timing. Can I build on this hill? Yes. Signature move. Yeah, we'll go up and we'll prepare for the Elton play. They should add some Viking campaigns for Viper? Yeah, I agree. And they should let me voice line the main character. That's my dream. Ooh, he's Imp now. So you'll probably get Elite Mamluks though. So maybe long term, Scorpions will not be a good... Uh, elephants will not be a good play. But maybe we can mix in Scorpions as well. So we can play Elephant Scorpion. I think that sounds like a really nice composition. Oh, am I playing on fast speed? Ooh. I don't remember if I played them on fast speed normally. It might just be because I had fast speed on the campaign I was playing previously. I don't really want to go back and restart now. We're 15 minutes in. Yeah, I, I was playing the custom map challenge earlier and I had it on fast speed there. So that may have carried over. Normally I do play on normal speed. We'll have to do this one on fast. I'm sure we'll be okay. Yeah, I like that composition. Elephants and scorpions. That's gonna be good. Good composition. We can do a third castle. Let's do it towards Akkoyunlu. I think they will be the easier one to kill because they don't have Mamelukes. 900 wood for the scorpion upgrade. I think our economy is pretty much set as we want it. Okay. I assume they will not attack here. Well, I guess I could clean it up. But then again, that's only for trading. But then again, maybe I want to trade a little bit. So maybe we should do that still. I need like 10, not even 10. Six, seven elite war elephants should be enough to. Oh, that's even walled. Okay. Okay, let's. Um I mean, yeah, there isn't a lot of gold, so maybe we need some trade. Yeah, I don't see much gold on the map at all. I guess trading won't hurt. I can also make a caravan strike. I cannot change the speed because... Oh, I could! Never mind, I remembered my hotkey. Okay, we're back to normal speed. The start was a bit sped up. But now we're back. Okay, I want to get... We have one trebuchet. Uh, there's a very professional made custom campaign for Vikings out there. You could let me know the name of it. I might check it out at some point. There's something I am considering doing, like trying to check for some community made campaigns. To see what they're like. Harald Hardrade. Can they voice line them as well? They probably cannot give them like intros, like their current campaigns, but imagine they can still make them pretty good. Uh, I have elite world elephants now. I kind of maybe I should do citadels. Some of them are voice lined. Sick. I think we are reaching the point of our economy being sustainable. Ooh, it's actually a bigger attack than I anticipated. We could also always make bomber cans as well. Uh, we have the citadels up here. Let me see, how much damage do we do against Rams? I haven't seen this before. Eleven, 10 damage. 
He mad, bro. Need this as well. 900 wood. We can almost do it. Looks good. Oh, are they like coming to attack me and they're going around and hitting my castle instead? Looks like it. Okay, let's charge in. 10 idols. Don't really know where to put them. Let's just take some wood. Wait, is this not open yet? Ah, oh, it's not open yet. Okay. Fair enough. <clears throat> we have water control here. Maybe do gill nets because why not? We're almost population capped. I think I just want to take this now. So we can start training, trading should we need to. We'll just patrol in our elephants here. Let them enjoy. And then we'll work towards green. Ismail, you're tanky. I'm impressed. We still don't want you to just die. Look how much damage they do to towers now. That's insane. 80 damage every hit, roughly. They are so good against buildings now, these elephants. I can also build Caravanserai. Probably feels like it's not worth it, but why not? Yeah, I got control of that. Okay, let's prepare now this way. We can do bomber cannons, so I'll probably make a few of those as well. Boom! We'll see what these guys can pull off by themselves. And we'll go towards green. With the rest of our army. Bro. You couldn't find a better spot? He wants to build it right in front. Wait, since when can Tatars build Caravanserai? Let's do that. Force them to the depend on weaker units. Yeah, I should probably get rid of some bills. We have we have too many. Or too little army. Yeah, just send like ten elephants in and they will do so much damage before they are forced to go. Okay, there's the camels gone. Ottomans are defeated. Afonso still has six minutes to go before. He will get mad that we don't pay him. Oh, there's a pen there as well. Maybe we can just send these down. It's very low HP. So these two elephants might be able to pull off the job. Also, I'm still not sure what's the threat from blue. If I don't pay them, will they just, they're just going to come attack me? We'll find out. All right. Um, so if we destroy the castle and the town center we capture the city i believe that's how it was presented looks like these forces will have to do a slash do they does that mean they cannot make mamelukes as well if that's the case that's sick almost looks like i'm able to fight both sides as long as i have a few elephants on both sides Put back on fast speed so your composition gets a speed boost. That makes sense. Let's take the range. I think that's the easy way to break through. <gasps> I agree. Attack Baghdad. With whatever you have. Actually. Yes, we are. They actually have an okay army here. They don't have Imperial Age upgrades, but it's okay. They just placed the foundation of a caravans, right? But they never built it. 
Okay, that, that was easy to take. The elephants alone can... I still have the army going ham here. Okay, let's see. Do I get the city? I thought it... I was supposed to get it captured. Yeah. Fair enough. Wait, oh, I got research on them. We are ravaged by the siege. This is all we have left to work with. Okay. Oh, we found more gold, by the way. We have gold everywhere now, suddenly. Ismail is a maniac. He's a crazy guy. Yeah, this army isn't that scary. I don't see Mamluks anymore either. Let us queue up like 15 elephants. And send them. Okay, number 30 elephants. And go to Teal. They might be able to do the job themselves. Okay, again, we don't want to destroy too many buildings. We just want to take the castle and the town center. Then we get the city. Yeah, there might be versions of the campaigns that are. that when I play them, they are outdated. But I wouldn't have the overview over all the campaigns. I would have to go back and replay. And I don't want to end up in a situation where I'm replaying campaigns that I've played before. Uh, where there's like very minimal changes, for example. So uh, if I ever go back and revisit them, it's, I'm not sure if I want to try to figure out which ones them had that have been changed that I would have to replay. Alfonso made me enemy. He doesn't like me anymore. I wonder why. Okay, this city was easy to take as well. Once you have elite war elephants, everything just feels easy. It's weird. Maybe we can go and kill Alfonso as well. Let's go and take Alfonso on as well. They finally quit. Good. <laughs> uh, wait, what did they say? So, no, this was not supposed to happen. We must flee this place before the Safavids sell us off. Nice. Viper playing this campaign, is it related to Hidden Cup? You'll never know. Or will you? I don't know. Maybe? Who knows? Time will tell. Only Byzantine and Goth campaigns are completely reworked. You would have to tell me specifically which ones. Carols. I, I have elephants. I don't care about your little carols. Does it look like we're scared of your army, Blue Afonso? You wanted me to pay you? You should pay me. Idiot. Look at this pathing. Path Tell him to go here. Okay. This forest is also different. But also the question is how different, right? If it's a completely new mission, I will be open to playing it. But if it's like, oh, the civilization has changed and now they have uh, step lancers. That's not enough for me to want to go back and replay it, you know? Looks like my elephants here are doing the job alone as well. We can just finish off Afonso quickly. Oops. Let's get rid of Afonso. I didn't like his attitude. Is there a new patch? No. Yeah, and like the next mission is just defeat Baghdad. I think we can already go for the castle. It seems like they stopped completely. <laughs> Get back. It seems like they stopped completely producing Mamluks after they lost the uh, camels. But they're still trying to get the wonder up. A disrespect wonder. I think we can get rid of more vills. We are floating a little bit. Lumberjacks, lumberjacks. Make room for more elephants. Market prices are insane. 
ally actually helping. Again, there's very few scenarios where that's the case, where they feel like they're actually helping. Is that a one villager wonder? I'm not sure. Is this what a one villager would do? How fast it would go? Could be. Why did you guys stop? I patrolled you up here. We're gonna find out. Oh, what's the fortified tower? I haven't seen it shaped like this before. Looks like a siege tower, kind of, just out of stone. Okay, there's, there's two wheels, it seems. Sorry, there was two wheels. 26 HP a minute, so it's probably four to six wheels. Oh yeah, you ain't no max for the ele match for the elephants. Make up your mind, you want to stay in the tower or not? Lost the bomb mechanics, but it doesn't matter because our true siege are these bad boys. Chonky boys. Is our true siege. Uh, 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 uh. I think this um, is fairly straightforward now. So let's put the speed to fast, just while we finish the job. Wait, the cast is already gone. They've already started deleting things. I believe. I don't see why the cast will be gone. That's not the case. So I believe they've already admitted defeat. There we go. Once the Ottomans learn of your atrocities, you will get your comeuppance. Oh boy, oh boy. The threats are real. Adversaries are finally vanquished. Now, all of Persia is ours to rule. Like, every time I beat someone in the campaigns, they have such a big mouth. Where they're... They just got completely wrecked, and they're still like... As if they'd crushed me. Yeah, this mission was definitely a steamroll. The endless triumphs that Ismail recounts to me. Those days will always be tainted by melancholy. By the time that the Akkoyunu met their demise, any semblance of family within the Kizilbash was lost. Their days were now spent quelling uprisings of ever-increasing frequency, usually without Ismail's direct supervision. One evening, during one of Ismail's many feasts, I raised my cup in memory of my brother. Instead of honoring his fallen comrade, Ismail ignored me and yelled boisterously at his musicians to play another song. Was this truly the incorruptible figure that my brother had given his life to serve? The carousing, apathetic stranger in that hall bore no resemblance to the benevolent soul that my brother had once adored. That was when it finally dawned on me that Ismail, the Divine Shah, and Alexander of the Safavids was just as fallible as any of us. And these campaigns are full of drama. Yeah, there wasn't really any, like, there was one attack at early game where they attacked me under my castle. But besides that, they, they weren't really aggressive. Like, I had one attack here with, with a few rams. Two attacks. One first with some army. Second attack was with some calf rams as well. Otherwise, there was really, not really any attacks. As soon as uh, Quizilbash became my ally, they also kept um, Ak Koyunlu busy for the majority of the time. Nice design, though, of the... Like, Whoever made this, right, they still go through all the details in terms of like, placing these mountains so they look nice. Just the whole terrain of the scenario. Shallows, bridges. It must take a lot of time to like, make all this. You gotta put some... Uh, uh, appreciation on that. 
If you pay Alfonso, you can pay him again for gunpowder this game. Oh, really? So, if I pay Alfonso in this one, he then tells me, Oh, yeah, thank you. Now you can pay me again. And then I get a... How big of a discount? Is the question? I don't know. Alfonso is a genius. Seems that way. Alright, that was uh, the third chapter of Ismail. Coming up next will be The Fallen Amir. Hopefully you enjoyed watching. Leave a like. Thumb up if you did. Subscribe for more. I'll see you for the next chapter. Goodbye.